here back with another Sony Vegas tutorial. This one's going to be a sort of ripple water droplet effect, uh, which I actually used in my CSGO Ninja Diffuse Edit uh, mini edit. Uh, I'll have a preview at the start and at the end of the video. So, to get into it, you just want to import your media, drag it into the timeline, and where you want this effect to happen, just split your clip. And make, to make sure you untick maintain aspect ratio and disable resample. Just so uh, when you pan and crop there are no black bars. So I'm using the same cinematic as I did in the edit. Back here we'll do delete that. And we can delete that. Right so. You have your clip here. Next what you want to do is insert another video track just by right clicking the one you already have and insert video track. Next go to media generators and what you want to do is drag and drop this elliptical ring into that video track over your video. Now this looks disgusting I know but uh, we're going to edit this. So I've already got a preset um, which I made earlier it's I just called it OG. If you want to copy my settings, you can do, but it's totally up to you. You can customize this dead look however you want it. You don't have to copy my settings, but here they are. I'll uh, pause the video if you need to slow this down or whatever. But moving on, once you've got the ring, the shape you like, and etc., you can just cross this off. That's all done. Drag this down to uh, match your clip, of course. You don't want it overextending. Next, go over here to compositing mode click it and click custom then click sony height map now this is what gives the transparency of the effect next i've also got a preset for this height map um, so if you want to copy my settings that's perfectly fine uh, but here they are amplitude is 0 0.121 Elevation is 0 0.098 and height scale is 0 0.227 and the intensity is 12 and I've got wrap pixels around not transparency background. So once that's done the only thing left is to click pan and crop on your elliptical ring and now I like at the start of mine to have it really sort of zoomed in like that. Position it however you like, I'm going to have mine a bit to the side. And then at the end of the clip, I want it to be sort of restored, if I go back a bit, yeah, a bit too far. Uh, I want it to be fully restored and zoomed in past the camera, so it's sort of as if it's going through like a 3D effect almost. Uh, so if we just preview this. Now, because my cinematic's really slow, this looks like it's in slow motion, which actually gives it a really nice effect. So yeah, if I actually render this in best, give me a second. So yeah, you can also use this as sort of a transition if you add a mask and into the center of the effect as a new clip, a mask a new clip in there, but that's a lot more advanced. Something I might be able to show if someone requests it, I'm not sure. But yeah, to me that looks really smooth and uh, it's a great sort of 3D effect. So yeah, it's short tutorial for today. If it did help, leave a like and uh, subscribe for more. Bye-bye.